Hey everyone, Cynix here again, and today I'm going to just cover a quick topic. I've been getting asked a lot lately if I could talk a bit about line work and uh, my own views on line work and any tips I might have in, on improving your line work and uh, basically stuff like that. So what I usually tell people um, is that you need to learn to draw like a painter, especially if you're just starting out. Uh, when you're a kid, uh, you may just draw like things very iconically. Say someone asks you to draw an eye, uh, it'd probably look like this with the top lid, the bottom lid, and the uh, pupil and everything. Uh, you know, with maybe eyelashes or whatever. But this is how a kid might draw an eye when you're young. Uh, but uh, And uh, moving on from that, uh, people still kind of draw things very iconically sometimes when they do anime. Uh, they can have like an icon for an eye or whatever. It's basically just taking this concept of what an eye is and drawing that instead of thinking about things in terms of uh, three-dimensional form and lighting. So when I talk about drawing like a painter, uh, I'm basically saying just always draw with lighting in mind. Uh, so never just draw something with no concept of lighting like you'll see that sometimes in anime you cut and paste a couple different uh, Facial features together. Maybe there's some kind of nose or whatever And then the lighting is usually like something they think up secondary Maybe they add some cell shading to one side. Maybe they do it from the bottom the top uh, And they do it pretty independently of the facial features So what you want to do is you want to get away from that and start thinking about facial features and your line work um, as if it's a more painterly thing and I guess I don't know why I keep using the word painterly but just kind of it makes me think of more like uh, thinking about large tones of shadows and stuff so this might be an eye if you had some top-down uh, strong top-down lighting uh, and you can see what I mean by that and here's the other eye and then maybe you'll have the nose wherever and a lot of shadow because the lighting's way up above and maybe there's some hint of the mouth and once again shadow anywhere there's shadow you bring it in a lot of shadow and stuff like that and there you go you have a very simple face that only took me a few brush strokes uh, basically just using these heavy brush strokes and I think using a brush pen or any kind of thick a uh, really heavy pen will really help you to think like a painter because you're not going to be thinking about uh, getting all those details in. you're just going to be thinking about those blocks of where the shadows are and obviously the lighting doesn't have to be this dramatic it can just be you know like a, a lot of the line work in my video was where it was just you know a simple thing where there's the hint of the eyes because obviously you don't get a lot of detail if you're just looking from far away you'll probably just see the top uh, eyelid or something like that or just kind of the eye is a general like you know line with some maybe some creases in the middle because there's a lot of depth in the inner side of the eye and then the brow might have some shadow too um, but stuff like that and that might be your eye and it's nice and simple and if you want to go back in you can go in and render out a nice eye with you know lots of details and stuff like that uh, but that comes later you want to just focus on the simple parts of things keep it minimal keep it loose I say the biggest advantage that line art has or just your line art has over your rendering is that line art is where all of your energy should be um, like this is where you get all the energy in a piece you can do whatever you want you can kind of go crazy you can see I'll make an ear here just by drawing some squiggles uh, that one's kind of weird but stuff like that you just draw some lines where shadows might be you don't even have to worry about connecting lines obviously if there's highlights maybe the top of the head has that strong lighting so I don't even have to worry about drawing uh, uh, defining the top of the head I can just leave it like this and really just focus on where the shadows are um, so you can see you get a lot of energy with stuff like that and uh, real quickly, you don't have to use these uh, kind of thick brushes, thick things like that. There's a lot of different ways to draw like a painter and focus on forms and large shapes. Uh, let me switch brushes to something very simple. This is just a one pixel brush or uh, like something you would have in MS Paint or something like that. And I like to play with this once in a while. It helps me get some creative juices flowing because you 
wiggle it around and suddenly you see all these interesting shapes and things. Uh, but you can also do your faces like this. So let's take this uh, example over here and kind of do it again. Um, you can see I'm just kind of making these general shapes to define uh, where my shadows and tones might be. You can use this to define your shadows. You can also use it to define changes in hues and the things like that. So there might be some highlights on the bottom lid. Let me do that over here too. Like you get some highlights down here and you can define stuff as much as you want. Uh, but you can see I'm just kind of keeping this loose and maybe there's some shadows on the side of the mouth and once again uh, under the lips and stuff like that. Maybe you get some stuff on the side of the face and under the gels definitely need something so stuff like there and whatever you know I'm just kinda not really thinking I'm running out of space down here but you can see I'm just kinda keeping it real loose and casual and there's a lot of energy going on so I pretty much did the same type of face you can do a little more with the top of the head uh, but I see this kind of style where it's real loose and uh, kind of defining those tones a lot with certain artists. I think uh, Phil Hale, if I remember his sketches, they kind of have this loose style to them. So that's another way to do things if you don't have a brush pen, you don't like brush pens, you want to stick with pencils or whatever. As long as you're keeping things loose and energetic, that's all that really matters. Uh, but let me start a new layer here, go back to my other brush. Uh, so let me see if I could draw a face real fast and talk about it. So let me just, uh, I'm starting with this big line that doesn't actually make any sense and doesn't even fit in with the, the face itself. So maybe I'll make a nose here, um, eh, whatever, and some mouth, have the mouth coming forward, a little bit of shading, 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 <laughs> um, draw a chin here. And look, it is, obviously this has nothing to do with the head, but I just like to get my lines moving in exciting ways. And then I'll draw the other eye over here, and stuff like that. So, there, I already made a simple face, kind of bring it in a little bit, I'm not worrying about connecting lines that much. Oops, that ear is huge. Uh, but you can see how this kind of creativity just kind of takes off when you're keeping things loose and just focusing on where your shadows might be and stuff like that so there we go oops let me something like that i don't know i say i can pop in more shadows under the, the chin or whatever get some details wherever i want to go back in with the lighter brush and get rid of them if i don't you can see how this uh this bridge of the nose is kind of left blank and that's because I'm imagining that there's highlights coming in um, across it maybe from here or whatever but something like this would capture a lot of highlights and cheeks and things like that and maybe this side of the face has more of the sunlight so there's less lines over there and all that stuff so anytime you see me not doing a line or doing a heavier line it's always with the mindset of doing shadows or highlights so always be drawing with lighting scheme. That is basically the key of anything um, that I'm talking about is kind of establishing a lighting scheme. No matter what you're drawing, how simple it is, this doesn't obviously just apply to faces and things. It can apply to anything you want. Let me just get rid of some of that. Um, let me think of another example. Okay, let me do a simpler face. So let's just have a simple eye. Another simple eye over here, and let's just do a nose that's just a couple dots because maybe there's a lot of exposure and highlights. Uh, so the mouth is just going to be the sides of the mouth this time because the front of the mouth is obviously more forward than the sides. Uh, so maybe it's getting a lot of highlights on the front. And obviously under the lips though you get a lot of shadow. So there you go, you have some like squinty face, uh, you can add uh, whatever details you want, keeping it energetic, um, drawing the underside of the chin maybe, just because maybe there's some shadow under there. Uh, but doing stuff like this is very helpful, it gets, gets you thinking about the proportions in a looser way and practicing different ways to render stuff. Um, let's see, what else can I try? I don't know. I don't know. I, I didn't really come into this with any strong game plan, which is why I'm kind of going over stuff a lot. But, okay, how about if I try to do a face that's kind of facing upward? 
Uh, so I got the ears down here, obviously. If you remember my old videos, I obviously need to update them with uh, some new videos about painting or drawing faces because those videos are pretty outdated and I'm not real happy with the faces in them and stuff like that. Uh, so let's just see, maybe there's an eye over here, eye over here, and the nose is way up here because they're facing upward. Oops, uh, whatever. And since this is from this angle, the mouth is going to be curved that way. And, okay, so now here's where I'm going to pause to talk about uh, drawing like a painter. Um, for this instance, since the light might be coming once again from above, or maybe in front, um, I'm obviously not going to draw in the chin like I normally would, you know, filling it out like it has shadow underneath it, because it doesn't. Obviously the head's tilted up, so it's catching all this sunlight all in here, so I don't have to draw any line. I could hint at it a little bit, but I don't want to draw a strong jawline or chin line, because that's where the lighting is. Um, so I'm hoping you're getting the idea. This is, once again, mainly for people just starting out and uh, stuff like that. So, you know, basic concept stuff. Uh, but yeah, that face wasn't that great or anything. actually drew a ton of faces just warming up. Let me see if I can find some of these. Uh, oh yeah, that was another one. Kind of a smished face. Uh, let's see what we got. Anything worth talking about. Oh, a bunch of faces here. Blah, no, they're off screen. Uh, once again, just talking about different things. Uh, more faces. Using, keeping my lines real loose and energetic. And uh, talking about shadows again. And stuff like that. So, I guess I'll wrap up this video. And hopefully it made some sense. I'm kind of delirious now because it's late at night. But um, I just wanted to talk a bit about line art and stuff like that. So... Uh, good luck with learning to draw like a painter, and just keep that mantra in mind. Keep telling yourself things like that, drawing like a painter, and it'll help you to think about shadows and stuff like that. Alright, well, thanks for watching, and I'll be back later with more videos.